They say a good life is a simple life, but this is too broad to understand and too vague to apply. Does it mean to live only with a backpack with no place to call it home? Or to be satisfied with the few belongings you own? In fact, there's a framework to help us build our own version of simple life. Here are the five rules you need to follow. Rule number one is to do fewer things, but better. In the paradox of choice, Barry Schwartz explains that the multitude of choices doesn't lead to satisfaction. It creates anxiety with a decision and most of the time leads to dissatisfaction with the choice we have made. This means if we're trying to fulfill 20 pursuits in our life all at the same time, we will get tired, anxious, and eventually frustrated. So the solution is to dedicate yourself to only very, very few things at the same time, like one or two pursuits. It can be as simple as taking care of your family and committing to the workout plan. Be honest with yourself to choose only what's meaningful. Rule number two is the flow state. When life is chaotic, your attention is spread too thin. But when life is simple, you focus. This helps you enter a state of flow. When an experience is simple, when a task is simple, or when a design is simple, you are calm, you are peaceful, and you are focused. When simplifying any area in your life, consider what elements put you in the state of flow and which distract you. And keep doing what works and eliminate what is tiring you. Even tiny details can make a difference. Is your workplace tidy and inviting for some productivity? Do you need a pen holder stuffed with pens? Or one quality pen can do the job? Yeah, even these stupid things can make a difference. Rule number three, don't ignore the real world. The real world is complex. And ignoring this complexity, just for the sake of leading a simple life, will not do you any good. Instead, you need to find a simple way to navigate through this complex system. I'll give the example of the iPod designed by Steve Jobs. The iPod, in fact, has a very complex system inside of it to read the music, to store the music, and to play the music. But Jobs wanted that any function be performed in less than three clicks. And that ease of navigation made it the preferable choice for the consumers. As the author of the book Think Simple, Ken Segal, says, life is complicated, and it's because it's complicated that simplicity stands out. Rule number four, commit. When you're trying to create something simple, whether it's a design or your life itself, you should commit to improve things constantly until you reach a somehow satisfactory result. To find your simple life, you should be willing to experiment, to try some changes, to discard some things that don't work, etc. You will not find a satisfactory simple life from your first try, but commit to improve it with every single try. And rule number five is to accept imperfection. Mistakes will happen and imperfection is part of the deal. But the simple life you want to build does not want you to correct for either of these two. Instead, you should try to embrace them and don't let them be in the way of your simple life. What I mean by that, if you're leading successfully a simple life at work, but still making mistakes on simplifying your personal life, it's totally fine. Give it some time and think how you can apply the same for the other aspect of your life. As a final word and a personal opinion, I want to say that it's very satisfying to have this kind of space in your life, the order, the lack of clutter, and the firm direction. 